Hey there Lick and Riffers, welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which I'm going to show you two awesome chord solo progressions. The first one... Okay, you can play those arpeggios or you can just... Block it. The second one is this. Okay? Again, you can arpeggiate it, you can just okay, block it, right? So uh, before we start, I just want to mention this lesson is sponsored by the music courses on Skillshare. Anything from piano courses to ukulele courses to guitar courses to composition courses, anything you want to learn, they have it. Click the link below in the description and you'll get two months, two full months of free premium access to all the courses on Skillshare. Not just music, everything they have, tens of thousands of courses. They have, as I said, music courses on instruments, they have production courses, they have mixing courses, they have electronic music courses, they have composition courses, theory courses, ukulele, piano, guitar, whatnot. But they also have graphic design courses, writing courses, marketing courses, financial planning courses, video editing courses, photography courses, Anything you want to learn, click the link below in the description and grab two full months of free premium access to Skillshare because Skillshare love lick and refers and will love them back. So thank you very much, Skillshare. And now you go and grab your two full months of free premium access and come back and learn the first chord progression. Okay, so these two chords okay, are basically D over F sharp and G7. Okay, but with the seventh note on the bass, okay? So um, we take this, okay? And we move it up. And upwards, it sounds good because when it's low, okay, it's a bit muddy. So if you take it here, um, the notes sound better together. Okay, this is why the progression works so well. Okay, so this is D over F sharp, just raised up here. Okay, now it doesn't matter where you start the chord progression, doesn't matter. Okay, you can start it anywhere you want. Okay, anywhere you want. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you the shapes, right? So, okay, let's start uh, here. Let's start on 10, 9, 7 on strings 2, 3, and 4, okay? This is A, and you need nine on the sixth string. So this is A over C sharp. It's the same chord as this, but with a lot cooler uh, voicing, okay? Okay, so um, it's, okay, it's 10, nine, seven on strings two, three, and four, with nine on the sixth string, okay? With your second finger. And then you just lay your first finger flat on the seventh fret um, on strings two, three, and four, and your bass note goes down one fret to eight. So now it's it's D seven, okay? But instead of this, you have D seven over C, okay? So this is the sound you're going for, okay? What a cool chord, right? So if you notice, okay? If uh, um, you have notes moving around, you have one note staying in the same place and a chromaticism in the bass. And, okay, this is your move. Now, your idea is to keep the chromaticism going. So if your bass is on nine, eight, your next bass is gonna be on seven and you're gonna do the same thing. Seven, six, okay, so the chords just go down two frets, but the bass keeps going one fret at a time. Okay? Okay, so it's nine, eight, seven, six. Okay, so the chord goes down two frets, but the, but the bass paints a chromatic move. And then you do it again, and then you can finish on the next one. Okay? 
So you can start it anywhere, as I said. Okay? So practice that. And you can arpeggiate it. Okay? Now the next chord progression starts with a major chord and a minor chord. Okay, this is Okay, this is the D shape and the D minor shape, right? But we're playing it uh, spaced apart, we're, so we're not playing the whole chord, okay? So this is the voice thing. And then we take, okay, don't worry, I'm gonna break it down for you, but I wanna show you the trick first. Then you take the high note of the minor chord and you play the major chord there. So you start from the same high note, but the, the chord went down chromatically. Okay, again, that chromaticism, that's the secret to any good chord, uh, chord solo. Okay, so you have this, okay? The chord went down, okay, chromatically. And, and then it goes down chromatically again, but it's now major again. Okay, so the shapes go like this, okay? Anywhere you wanna start it. Again, I'm starting it on 11, okay? Let's start it on 12. So you have, okay, you have 12, 12, and 10 on springs one, three, and four, okay? It's the D shape, again, but you don't, you don't play this, you don't play, you don't play that note on the second string, okay? So you have a sixth and a fifth. Okay, intervals I mean. So, you have 12, 12, 10 on strings one, three, and four. And you take this down one fret, but instead of a major chord, you turn it into minor by playing eight on the first string. So you have eight, 11, and nine. Okay, so you have, okay? Now the chord went down one fret. Okay, it's chromatic. Okay, but the high note went down two frets. This is the secret to why this sounds so good, because we have a chromaticism, but we still have big leaps in the high notes. And then you take the chord down one fret more, but you leave the high note on 10. So this creates the same major chord again, 10, 10, and eight. And then you do the same thing, you do eight, nine, and seven. Okay, the chord went down chromatically, but the high note went down two frets instead of one. And then you just continue. And when you wanna finish, you take the high note of the minor chord, okay? And you play an F shape two frets above that. Anytime you wanna finish. Okay, so if you want to finish here, okay, just after two rounds, you just take the minor chord anywhere, okay, anywhere, anywhere you want to play it, and take two frets up and play an F shape. Okay, so you have okay, anywhere. Uh, Okay? When you want to finish, just play an F shape, two frets above the high minor note. Okay? And that's your chord progressions. So um, go practice them and click the link below in the description. Grab your two months of free premium access to all the courses on Skillshare. Okay, You can't cover them all in one lifetime, um, so pick your battles. Okay, it's addictive, I'm warning you. Uh, so have fun. Thank you very much, Skillshare, and I will see you the next lesson. So thank you very much for watching, and bye for now. Enjoy.